Yeah. Hey, it's the program, everybody. Who's yeah. that guy? <laughs> That's right. Here we are on TV once a day, every day, turn on the machines. We're gonna start talking. I'm gonna be here for an hour. Why is it that consecutive Carl's now like consecutive week? Carl. Yeah, where you been? You dropping off, huh? Uh, busy, 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 busy. Uh huh. Well, yeah. what, what happens here on the program? We're turning the machines and we start talking. <laughs> and we're gonna be here for an hour. I said that already. And today is Wednesday. And it's probably gonna be another smoking hot day. Oh man, so too much, right? I'm, I'm, I'm properly outfit. Uh huh. To uh, just walk around the lake and do other stuff, and you know, just kind of, um, you know, got my iPod, you know, touch charging with uh, uh, that's like 64 gigabytes, um, mm -hmm. uh, 32 or 64. Anyway, it's got a mass amount of music on it, and, mm -hmm. and I can just listen to one playlist and not have a song repeat. You know, yeah, for like a week or something. Oh it's, wow, it's really nice. You, you know that I I can uh, I have that kind of luxury. Have you been keeping cool in the sun here? Yeah, I have, I have, and you know, um, you know, th this is the only time of the season, obviously, that I I could uh, suit up. To make myself look like that I have a some sort of gym membership. Because the towel. Yeah, because of the towel oh, right you, here. You could wear a dry towel all the time. You put a little <laughs> some water on there. You was tip hot tip from Carl here. If you're, <laughs> if you're too hot. Put a towel. What towel on your neck? A wet towel. Yeah, not a dry towel. That'll not help. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, a, a dry towel could probably absorb some of your sweat, but y you would be, you know. Um, Somewhat in in uh, you know like pain, um, y you know uh, in terms of heated. like heat stroke or whatnot. Anyway, um, yeah. So how's the coffee? It's like milk. Well, um, I guess it's supposed to taste like milk a little bit. It's pretty good though. Well, if you're happy, then I'm happy. I'm happy. That, that's kind of the Carl Buddhist way, you know. That's nice of you. When, when was the last time you were here on the program? Uh, to probably a week and a day, or a week and two days. Was it last Tuesday? I, I don't know. Sometimes, I, you know, I probably said this year before. I'm, you know, more often than not trying to live in the present. And uh -huh. something that happened yesterday or two days ago or last week could Forget about very it. well as BH in history. Yeah. So maybe uh, this next question, I was going to ask you about the streets, and maybe that's not important to you, though. Oh, I mean, if you <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I, I, um, uh, well, I still have, um, events in my day that are kind of fresh in my mind, uh -huh. um, as it relates to my parents, um, uh, they are of a different generation that, you know, it, it's like, I, I don't exactly know where to go with this, you know, to a certain degree, but I, I think that, um, I'm, um, I, I probably am best suited to be, um, somewhat alone, uh, well, if that makes know. sense. I don't know, what are you well, about? Separated from from you know like my parents, mm -hmm. I I've, I've talked about building bridges. Everybody's gotta be separated from your parents a little bit. Yeah, I guess that's probably healthy. Uh, so you know, uh, no, I'm, that's thank you. I I um, I you know wanted to re repair the you know the, like the relationship that you know uh, you know whatever transpired. Um, um, hmm. this past February, um, early March. Yeah. And, and just kind of, um, um, move beyond it. But I, I can't seem to, uh, um, 
um, make all of that stuff happen. Um, uh, in in uh, when I was in family therapy yesterday, I kind of had um, oh, no had, had the um, come on come on over here come on. Oh, you want to? You want to talk about your family therapy on the show here? Well, it, it's it certainly helps to talk about it. Okay. Like it, it helps to uh, write about it um, yeah. on on Facebook. I um uh, there, there's uh, a lot of people that um, on Facebook that that uh, um, saying that you know they need to uh, that they would want me to think of them as you know, um, uh, uh, a family member, mm -hmm. even though, you know, there's one person that I recently friended, she's from South Africa, Whoa, and I, 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 I've never been to, I don't even know, um, you know, two or three generations down the line within my fa own family history, uh, where, you know, South Africa could actually come to play, if yeah. that makes sense. Uh, my, you know, gene genealogy has been rooted in the uh, United States for probably three or four generations at least. Mm -hmm. um, but you, the, these people on on Facebook um, that that I've uh, friended, you know, somewhat purely by coincidence. They, uh, they, uh, some of them really understand what triggers are, and y you know that that uh, triggers can be um, uh, damaging, uh, you know, to uh, kind of engage in some sort of a, a social process with, you know, uh, uh, other people, but. Um, uh, and, when you have triggers, um, uh, and the tr triggers you could apply to people that are emotionally distant, mm -hmm. that I, that they, that they're they're just like aloof. They 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 don't see. Oh, I did that. I didn't know that I could be doing that. And some of them tend to be dismissive, and it's 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 hard. Uh -huh. It's hard. No question about it but you know uh, our, you know the challenge in human life is, is to kind of work through things mm -hmm. and, and just try to keep on making things better because I think that's where you know human progress yeah. comes along not everything is easy not everything's easy but you know we can probably hopefully make things just a little bit more easier for the oncoming generation, you know, uh, you know, the generation of my nephews, for example, mm -hmm. um, I, uh, I, I really feel that, you know, uh, uh, you know, we're, we, we are <laughs> able to, uh, uh, we're able to, um, Accelerate and 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 just um, uh, improve on our life. I mean, think of you, you know like uh, um, what happened with uh, with uh, the Black Plague in in Europe. You know, 500 years ago or 750 years ago or whenever that happened. You know, hygiene. You know that they didn't know anything about science. With the all the, the basically the things that we know about science happen from you know the day you know the days that Newton lived onward, mm -hmm. and and so we're just slowly but surely progressing you yeah. know and it is you know through people like Danzio hello Danzio that that kind of enlighten us and help us and and keep us on the straight and narrow path. You know, hey, don't don't get back into that Mormonism thing or that Christian belief, or you know, I mean, that's kooky. Yeah. yeah. You know, we we got we got things to understand about science, and I'm not trying to be, you know, super dismissive against, you know, all, you know, religious faiths, because I am, 
you know, to a certain degree Buddhist, but, you know, mm -hmm. there, there's something to be said about, you know, scientific fear, theory. Yeah. Um, yeah, science. Oh, Charlotte, here we go. It's time for the dice game. Can we get out of pen here? We're going to run our hands between one and six. If you're at home, you can play along. Probably get to three. Here we go. Probably got a number. We're gonna roll one dice. Start off with. It's three, Charlie. Hey! Congratulations, sir. Charlie, you won the dice game right now. You have 500 points. He's like, what? What, what does that mean, 500 points? Probably 500 points, good boy. Did you win? Uh, no, I, I got, uh, I, I was kind of being egotistical. I, I gave in my, given myself that, that specific number. Number one. Number one, yes. Oh, okay, well, maybe it'll come up later. <laughs> maybe it'll come up later, we for still, sure. We still have a lot more chances to win the game. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, uh, yeah, everything's so good. I mean, I, I just had to kind of mentally process, process uh, things. And, and, you know, I took a little bit of uh, longer than normal uh, sleeping breaks um, uh, yesterday because, you know, it, it's, it's kind of, you know. It's exhausting? Exhausting. Yeah. There you go to uh, 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 have, you know, your your parents be, you, you know, what's that sound? Sounds like the Sprinkler. neighbors are, are doing some chainsawing. Or, yeah, um, uh, that, uh, I, uh, it, it would be so hard to just kind of wrap myself around that uh, my parents are like, oh, we come to therapy, but we're not going to be emotionally invested in mm. your emotional well care. That's just like, you know, uh, how does that work? You know, that you can show up to therapy and, and but not be wanting to, you know, like improve. You know, yeah. like, as I said, you know, um, to go from the age of Newton to the age of Einstein to the age of, you know, Stephen Hawking. I, I mean, Stephen Hawking knows a whole lot more than Newton does, but it was through the fact, the efforts of Newton that were able to kind of progress and go forward and, and keep on changing our reality and and like being able to witness and understand um what's going on in our world and um yeah i i i'm i'm kind of beside myself you know um and and what i need to do in this planet you know um okay it I probably need not to put so much emphasis on being with my parents, which is okay. So That's healthy? Yeah. What about you? What have you seen on the streets? Okay. <laughs> 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 I don't know, everybody's out, you know, because of the sun. That's the main thing that I'm seeing around here. There's a... Uh, when, when, when it's... When the sun comes out, Everybody flops out. It's pretty crazy, you know. You don't think that there's too many people in town, but then when the when the oh when the sun comes out, I'm not sure if I was going registering when the machines there. But when the sun comes out, everybody comes out in waves, and you're like, wow, I didn't even know this many people even were in town, but they all are. And everything's crowded. Everybody's out. Uh, they're taking up the sun. Yeah. Um. Uh, are like butterflies, you know, that they, uh, that they don't invest too much on, on, um, on uh, 
being outside unless, you know, it's, it's like sunny and upwards of 70 or 75 degrees. Yeah. We're, we're and, you know, if it's like 62, then half the people are like, oh, I'm not going to call in work sick i'm i'm gonna work or i don't even know how that works whether or not give the people on the streets that they're out in parks if they do work for a living or you, you know they're they have part-time jobs that they can just skew and like oh i'll come in you know at at six instead of at two o'clock because at two o'clock i want to be jogging around the park i I don't know how that works. Butterflies but. don't come out unless it's hot. Uh, well, uh, 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 these uh, sun butterflies, uh -huh. you know, human beings. Oh, okay. Um, that's that's fun. That, that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, how about how about the news? You hear about those firefighters? Uh, that's yeah, that's the, that's kind of depressing. I I don't want to get into. Uh, a line of work where you know I, I could you know be um, uh, you know like dead on arrival to a hospital or something yeah hey if I needed hospital care or it was like touch and go but um, uh, yeah it's it's uh, it's sad but um, um, Hopefully the uh, um, the family members uh, can uh, you know uh, just forge a path forward. You know, like I've been saying in in my own personal you, you know um, uh, life story. You, you know, you just have to kind of go forward and not go backwards. Yeah, you know? always go forward. Yeah, and never go backward or sideways. Right, never go backwards or sideways. However, I sometimes I you know look through the drive rear view mirror to see or the rear view mirror to see who could be tailgating me. Mm -hmm. But it, more often than not, you know I'm i we all kind of need to look ahead rather than to think what a coulda shoulda. Yes, that's not really too healthy. No. No, think about the future. That's where you started off saying that kind of thing. Yeah, right. Any, you see any other news? Um, I, I'm, I'm, um, somewhat boring. No. <laughs> uh, okay, no, but I, was, I, I don't have a whole lot to say because I don't want this to be. Just like the Carl show. Oh, you died there. I do. That's what you're here. <laughs> it's the Carl show. Uh, uh, well, uh, can I say blush? I, I mean, I, you know, the, the video probably one to, you know, transmute, you, you know, just like get my full redness on. Uh -huh. I, I mean, I could probably splash some red um, makeup. Yeah. I, I don't know that you have uh, the makeup studio we, here. We don't. Well, we, we got in the makeup chair. Yeah, the makeup chair. <laughs> we only get one. We only get our makeup before we start the show. Uh, After. Afterwards, we don't get any makeup. Right, right. So, anyway. Um, yeah. Uh, that's, that's, you know, that's kind of you, but I'm, uh, to blush. It's the <laughs> Oh, it's kicking me. Uh, I'm gonna look at the messages. I doubt we have any messages because we did the show probably about 12 hours ago. We're actually less than less than 12 hours ago. That's right. That's right. You called me and it's like, hey, Carl, want to come on the program? And I'm like, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, and then you were starting to um, say these boarding times and I'm like, well. Yeah, uh, around 11 o'clock, I need to kind of uh, be situated to uh, go, you know, be in the downtown area. So mm -hmm. this this is perfect on Wednesday. Yeah. This time right now. That's good. Oh, let me look at the info time. Six, oh, five, yes. Four, three, two, one.
Now it's info time. Here are answers to some frequently asked questions about the program. You're watching it right now. It's called Your Daily Hour with me. It's called Intellivision Talk Show that's built right here in Thurston County every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. It airs every night, 11.30 p.m. on TCTV Channel 22. This episode taped a week uh, ago, so if you're watching this, um, well, anyway, this uh, we're always on a t- time delay. But you can watch any episode of this program on YouTube. And you can come on the program because we love you. <laughs> call us a number at this number. Call <laughs> 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 uh, that, that was, that was, that was interesting. Thank Great you. Great job. Job. Yeah, well, I, I, I often amaze and surprise and astound even myself sometimes. But it's it's good. It's you know this is how life works. Yes, I'm <laughs> amazed and astounded. Okay, <clears throat> I got the bunchies. Some uh, messages from Mr. Ginsu. Oh, where is it? What is this message? Silent message, Mr. Ginsu? Oh. I think it's a silent message. Okay, thanks Mr. Ginsu for that one. He left one more too. Hopefully this one is not silent. Let's see. Uh, Mr. Ginsu is definitely sleeping right now. It is early for him. Whoa. It's early for me too. I'm not up this early often. But when I wake up, are you going to do 4th of July stuff, Carl? Do you have Sorry about that. Oh. I was fucking called you. It's out there. If I could fall on my hand, you know, getting stoned or something. You know. yeah. And then I look for him and oh, fuck. I ain't seen him. Nah. Oh, bitch. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I didn't freaking mean to not give you a message. Thanks, Mr. Ginsu. Yeah, he's sleeping. It's too early to call Mr. Ginsu, so we'll leave him alone. It's too early to call most people, actually. It's not too early to call Carl. Oh, wait, Carl's here. Do you, do you wake <laughs> up this early? Are you a morning person? Um, I, 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 it's not my preferable day, but, y- you know, the, the that's how days begin with mornings. It's true. Well, some days, sometimes you wake up in the afternoon. Yeah. Ah, uh, program, I'm sorry, I missed your call. I've been back and forth between two different apartments and I left my phone in one. And, uh, yep, I missed it. Well, I guess the program's probably over, but if it's not, you can call me back. And if it's tomorrow, you can also call me back. And I'll try extra hard to have my phone on me. Keep moving through time, guys. Thanks. Thanks, alright, well, I was uh, ready. Um, we can call him back, but I think we'll we'll give him another few minutes also because it's so early. This is another message. This is from an unknown caller. It's from the 570 area code. This oh, this might be uh, I think this is the um, Bohemian Society calling us back. This is Bird's gonna be excited about this one actually. 
We gotta call him and tell him that little Hindu said he calls you back. Okay, yeah, I'm just watching the channel. I'm off from out of town. I'm just uh, doing some work here at JBLM for two months. And I uh, just wondering what do you guys think about uh, basically, like, we become a tabloid society to where whatever news is popular at the moment, that's all we report on. There's not really much journalistic integrity as far as putting out that news. I mean, we just go to the headlines and everyone's going to run with their own story, but there's no really fact-checking behind that. All right, I'm out. Late. What? Oh, good question, viewer. Thanks for calling. What do we think about tabloid society and that the news is not reliable anymore? What do you, what do you think, Carl? you have a opinion? I, I, I think... Whoa! <laughs> what do you think about that, Charlie? I, I don't... Bless you, Charlie. I don't believe that, uh, hospital... I don't believe that the news is ever, uh, you know, believable. I don't know why. Like, every time I hear any of this, whoa! Hospital. Um, yeah, um... Anytime I hear any of these conspiracy theories, I always think, like, why do you think that you're gonna get good stuff anyway, you know? Like, they're like, the news is lying to me. The people are watching, listening to my phone calls. This meat is made of horses and not actual meat um, or cow meat and all that stuff I say. Why do you think that it was actually the good stuff to begin with? I think that it was assumed that everything is horse meat and lying and that the government is listening to my phone calls. I already think all that stuff is happening. So when I hear about it, I think, yes, of course that stuff is happening. What are you surprised about? Like, when you think the news is going to tell you an accurate story, obviously, they're not going to tell you an accurate story. It's been happening the whole time. People think that it's changing and getting worse, but I think that it is not. I think it's been like that the whole time. My, um, uh, um, opinion about this, um, 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 I'm, I'm taking the historical viewpoint. Mm-hmm. And um, I uh, I do believe that we've been here before uh, as a uh, species. Um, um, with uh, uh, Caesar, you know, mm -hmm. give them uh, bread and circuses, and uh, the government can do whatever it wants. Yeah, why not? Something like that. If and, I had food um, uh, circuses, I, I would let the government do whatever they wanted. Why not? Yeah, well, like uh, food and entertainment. And, and uh, you, you know, the, that's what kind of is going on right now with, um, you know, MTB, Paris Hilton, you know, um, the Cardassians. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to be so much of, you know, someone that is, like, super dismissive. Uh, against uh, pop culture, mm -hmm. but there comes a time. <coughs> there comes a time when pop culture is not as relevant as you know what the government is doing in terms of um, um, what you, you know um, you know enabling or accepting or allowing of uh, freedom um, between, uh, you, you know, in societies. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, for example, like Obama had, had this kind of, uh, some sort of like, um, um, this um, um, bombshell announcement that, you know, Oh, I'm I'm sorry that you, you know um, uh, we're you, you know doing this NSA um, uh, wiretapping thing, uh, but here's the thing, you know the Europeans are doing this too. Mm -hmm. I didn't really follow this link on on um, uh, Facebook, but yeah, I I could kind of see that <coughs> you, you know. The, governments within the world, not just, you, you know, um, the United States, are engaging in these practices that, you know, um, uh, uh, are 
a little bit worrisome to other people. Okay. But, you know, I mean, um, you know, uh, at some point, um, people will be like, um, no, come on, man, let's, um, let's honor, um, um, social justice values and, and, you, you know, maybe, um, we'll be, um, maybe, um, they're, Oh, oh, four and five. Four and five. Four and five. Four and five. I won. <sighs> Maybe that's because I shouldn't multitask, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You gotta focus. Yeah, I gotta focus. Me um, and Charlie have 500 points. We're, we we're beating you right now. Yeah. Well, that's that's all right. I I can I can roll with the punches. But, um, yeah, m m uh, we, y you know, um, um, everybody probably needs to just, like, be a little bit more calm and rational and, and say, you know, hey, um, okay, governments, and, you know, okay, you know, parents and whatnot, and, you know, societies, and uh, if you want to get somewhere, the only where we can get somewhere is together. I, I can't build a bridge, I mean an actual literal bridge. I know I've been talking about building bridges, uh, relationships with my parents, but I can't build an actual literal bridge by myself. I need other people to help me br build this bridge, you know, over um, the Columbia River, for example. Uh -huh. I need um, Kenny to kind of do this program because Kenny is is the host. I don't know if you've never been, if there was an episode that was taped of Your Daily Hour with me that you weren't on it. Nope. Right. So, Kenny needs the, I need Kenny for me to be here on the program. This is not going to turn into the Carl program. Um, at least um, it's my desire not to have this be the Carl program mm. because that's too egocentric. Mm -hmm. Um, it, you, you know, I mean, come on, uh, if we're, if we're, you know, on this planet, we might as well work, work together or not at all. Uh -huh. I, I, you know, I, I, I don't understand, you know, uh, you know, why the, the government think that it's the, their duty or right to be um, um, snooping, you know, uh, as much as they're, you know, doing the snooping, you, you know, the, the, uh, it takes a little bit of faith. You know, I had this, um, uh, this faith, this goodwill, I was acting on this faith that my parents would um, accept and realize and understand what I really truly needed uh, from them. Mm -hmm. But the, the, uh, it's apparently not meant to be. At, at least um, um, in July 2013, maybe July 2014, they'll start to understand what 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 I need from them and what they need, you know, from themselves, mm -hmm. you know, to have uh, you know a meaningful life in the world today. I'm. I'm, you know the um, the the whole NSA watching you. I I heard that all they did was was monitor the phone calls and like where your phone like phone records basically. Yeah. Who called who when? Right. And I thought that had been going on forever. You know, all, all those cop shows, they always look up phone records. You know, whenever anything happens, they're like, oh, let's look up their phone records and they can see that you called. And I don't know how that is even a new thing at all. Yeah, well, um, um, I, I had a realization, um... Uh, haven't you seen, like, in, have you seen Scream? Scream came out in 1994, and they were looking at phone records then, that's over ten years ago. Yeah. Or less than ten years ago, I guess. Um, you know Glenn Anderson, right? Fellowship of Reconciliation has a, uh, yeah. <laughs> hair on his chin and on his head? <laughs> well, that's a beard, uh -huh. but... Um, um, yeah, um, 
Glenn um, had um, said um, um, in, during college, mm-hmm. you know, like he he would an- he would uh, um, answer the phone call um, um, during college when he was like in his twenties and thirties or whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, screw you, J. Edgar Hoover. Oh yeah. Like like he he would pick up the phone and he would actually say that. Yeah, well they're not listening. I mean that's kind of uh narcissistic to think that they're listening to you specifically. Well <laughs> Yeah. I well, yes, I I don't know, but I mean that that just there there lies the point, you know. How how much are they really listening to our conversations? And, you know, it's like um uh, you know, are are we supposed to like um, uh, in our telephone greetings, like instead of saying "Hello, who is calling um, me on the phone?" You know, like right now, uh, say um, uh, "Hello, Obama." You can get off the phone now. Goodbye. Yeah. Hello, caller. W- what's up? You know, whatever. Yeah. Again, yeah, that 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 would be uh, sort of like uh, um, uh, a lot like um, um, uh, narcissistic. Mm. But I mean, uh, where where where's the line? Nobody knows where the line really is. And you know, maybe. Um, yeah, they got me making all my phone calls. I don't care. Well, yeah, but maybe. Um, um, Edward Snowden knew uh, where the lines were, and the lines were, you know, not drawn anywhere. And and maybe they could hear a hundred percent of any any person's conversations at any one time. Yeah. Maybe that was the reason that he was speaking out. But you know, I mean, um, some people call him a traitor, and I I I'm just like I. Uh, I allow and reserve myself to be on the fence mm-hmm. uh, because there's uh, lots of things that I, I just don't know about. Y- you know, and it's probably not my deal to know about. And, you know, like, okay, some people would say you would force yourself to know, you know, like the specific details of um, Edward Snowden and why he came out and, you know, why, he, you know, um, I'm calling him a traitor, and I'm calling him like a, you know, a, a whistleblower of the highest degree. I, I I would say I have to be the middle road because you know, everyone's point of view. You know, even the flat Earth Society, they do have a salient point. Who's you, the flat you know, Earth Society? Well, the flat Earth Society uh, is uh, people that think that the world is flat. It's still so exact. In 2013. Yes. <laughs> have, they, have they seen pictures? Or gone on a pl- gone on, have they been on a plane before? Yeah, well, even on the, on the plane, you know, you don't see a lot of curvature. What about I, the horizon? You can see the horizon. Well, well, well okay, you, you can, uh, when you get on the boat, you can kind of see the, you know, the, you know, like, uh, the English Channel. Yeah. Y- you, you can, you know, when you go to France from England. You know, apparently these are not boat riders, but I'm yeah, just saying. Yeah, they've been on a boat before. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying that there are flat people of the, you know, within the flat Earth society um, that may still exist. I mean, people can call on on the show right now and prove me wrong. Mm-hmm. Or you know, if you're um, on Facebook or. Twitter, or you know, you you know my email address. You can say, no, there's no more flat earthers. Yeah. We, uh, that they've been, you know, um, shunned, shunned a long time ago. Time. Left out, left out of the you know classroom called life a long time ago. And every now, everybody now has some sort of science in their head. I, you know, okay, whatever. Yeah, but you know maybe they're still a uh, rib. Uh, 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 I'm gonna butcher this, uh, but Aboriginal. Yeah, yeah. Aboriginal. Mm-hmm. Right. You didn't uh, butcher it. Tribe people. Oh. That, yeah. That are still around. 
Six, you know, five, the tribal four, people, three, they don't three. know anything about we're airplanes. Here, we're hearing more about this when? after commercial break. <laughs> now it's time for a commercial break. Oh. Uh, dance only dance. Dance only dance. Live TV dance party. First Friday of each month. 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. TCTV Studio A. 440 Yager Way. Oh yeah. Coming up tomorrow on the program. Uh, 11.30. Your daily hour. Yeah. Totally. It's the uh, July 4th slash 11th episode. Yeah, we're here with Luke and the dog. We talk about uh, government. And donut holes. And parades. And uh, paranoia about earthquakes. We're on every night at 11.30 and 2 a.m. Yeah. Tune in. Thanks. <laughs> no, Carl, that's not funny. It goes 10 to 1, not 1 to 10. Yeah, come on. <laughs> hey, let's call for the producer. Yay! See how the production end is going here. Maybe we can talk about what we're doing tomorrow um, in, in uh, a three-way. What's that? Well, I mean, he can say what he's doing on the 4th, uh -huh. what I'm going to be doing on the 4th, and maybe what you're going to be doing on the 4th. Oh, what are you doing? Going up to Seattle. What's in Seattle? Uh, friends. Hang out. Can we go up? Uh, no, I, I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch, because... Hey, because he's driving. Hey, it's the program. Hey! We're on TV, how you doing? Good, we're just heading off to do our shoot for Lacey in Tune. For what? Lacey in Tune, the, um, like, music concert that happens three days a week in, um... Come to Moore Park. At, by by Fred Myers over there. What? By Fred Meyer? Yeah. What is that a TCTV event? Yes, it is. It will be airing on TCTV. I don't know what days, but it will be there. I've seen that on TCTV before. Oh, so cool. What? Yeah. Uh, Who's gonna be playing? Oh, I don't, I don't remember who's going to be playing today. The Army Band. Oh, it's the Army Band. Oh. And Freddie will be directing again, which was really fun. He's a good director. Oh, yeah? You're going to direct? You're gonna, Freddie's the boss. Yeah, I have to do exactly what he says all the time now. <laughs> he doesn't know, but I do. Um, How's yeah. That? Hey, uh, ask Freddie how the barbecue episode is going. How's the body going? Uh, it's good. It's copied to the computer. It's good. It is copied to the computer and probably about ready to be edited now. Oh, great. Here we go. It looks really good. I saw, um, he showed mom, my mom, some of the footage, mm -hmm. and um, it, it looks really awesome. So. 
good. You see, uh, you see yeah. anything on the streets? I haven't really seen anything on the street. Oh, but something weird happened this morning. I was waking up and I sleep in like my window, and all these birds were at my window this morning, and it was really creepy. And um, I closed my window because I was afraid they were going to come into my room. You don't have a screen. I don't have a screen. So they're in your. But they're, um, they're in your face so when you woke I up. Think the, there were birds in your face. Well, they're just like coming up to the window, and I heard all this scratching, you know, like bird feet on um, the roof tiling thing. Uh -huh. And I kept being like, what is that noise? And then um, it kind of woke me up enough to actually look out the window, and there are just like 15 birds out there. And they're all like the little ones, and then there's a big blue jay. Whoa. And they, they wanted to yeah. come inside? I think so. I think the lady who used to live in my apartment fed them. And I think they are mad at me for not feeding them. Oh, that, that's that's bad. Don't feed them. You, they should go away. You don't want to feed. I don't think you should be feeding wild animals. I know, especially because they don't have a screen, and I'm afraid they're going to come in and poop on all my stuff. Oh no! You should get a screen. I think they have them. You can get them. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, that's my exciting thing that happened. It's not really on the street, but. Have you ever gotten pooped on? While you're walking around? Uh. I haven't, but I had a friend when we were in New York, she got pooped on right on her head when we were waiting to go into the theater. Oh, man. Yeah, so. What happened? Did you, it was pretty you had to wash it off and go to, go to the theater anyway? Yeah, we, we had to, like, we wiped it off with paper towels when we were in line, and then she went into the bathroom and kind of washed her hair, but she didn't go to the hotel till, like, really late at night, so she had residue of bird poop in her hair all day. Oh, did she get, she didn't get like a uh, seminella or anything, did she? No, huh? No, I don't oh, think no, so. Right Car Carl's girl stopped by this. <laughs> Hi. I think, I think she's just traumatized for probably the rest of her life. Yeah. Of like, being afraid of birds to poop, you know. Well, I would be too. I, um, I, um, my parents had, um, um, a dog one sort and or another for, you know, like 15, 25 years, something like that. Um, you know, with uh, like a year or two that, you know, a, a pet died and, and so they were, you know, um, thinking about getting another pet or whatnot. Um, uh, so, you know, this kind of story is a little bit fresh in my memory. Um, I, I would see, like, a blue jay or whatever come onto the porch from, you know, flying around and walk up to a dog bowl, do dog food bowl, and just start eating uh, dry dog food. The bird? The blue jay, yes. Wow. Like, some birds are, you know, kind of like uh, incredibly daring. What are you guys going to do for the 4th of July? Is there, are you going to get some fireworks? You guys have exciting plans for that? Doublers? Um, well, I think both of us are filming the Tumwater 4th of July parade uh -huh. in the morning. And then, um, I don't know what Freddie's doing, but I'm going over to my parents' house after that, and we're going to watch fireworks on um, Moses Lake. Ooh. Yeah. So, It'll be a long, hot day, but I'm pretty excited. It's going to be fun. Okay. I uh, might buy a watermelon. You're going to need a watermelon? Yeah, I want a watermelon for the 4th of July. It just feels appropriate. Yes. Okay, okay, thanks. All right, yeah. What are you doing? I don't know yet. Blowing stuff. <laughs> We're going to blow stuff up. <laughs> Just don't put them in mailboxes. I'm gonna get some explosives. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> there they go, Dobler family over there. Uh, we can go to McDonald's next. You could also be wondering what what am, what what is the latest on the cardboard front? Hey, yes. What is what? Yeah. What about that? Uh, I um, am still um, 
enlightening minds and changing hearts out, out there in the world. Uh -huh. Um... What the... Oh, well, here's here we go with the dice game. I'll have to pick up that subject, you know, in like 15 seconds or whatnot. Here it is. Oh, what is it? Three, Charlie, and what? Oh, Charlie and you. Oh, three and four, was it? Yeah, look at that. Two, or three, two, three, four, four. Me and Charlie, we're tied. Charlie. Charlie. Do you want to share or, or, or uh, <laughs> battle? <laughs> I know Charlie doesn't like to share. If he had his choice, he wouldn't share, but... You don't get a choice, Charlie. I'm gonna share. We're sharing. I'm taking some of it. I know you want to battle. You want it all. Uh, yes, sir. I'm sharing with the dog that me and Charlie were winners today. Yay! Congratulations. So, anyway, the the uh, um the notion on on cardboard um uh is that um yeah. Um, since the, this is a totally new venture, you know, trying to get this cardboard idea out there in the world, mm -hmm. um, uh, they want, they want people to become ambassadors to post Who? links on Twitter and... Who is they? The cardboard uh, bicycle people. Okay. Uh, they started the, this company called Cardboard Technologies. Yeah. It's, you know, uh, Google it and it'll come right up there. Uh, either their Facebook or their Twitter page or their homepage. That's yeah. right. Um, I um, uh, uh, am an, an ambassador mm -hmm. and I shared the their links um, I guess around 800 times or, or not have had a link um, posted on my Twitter 800 times but half I, I would say you know uh, one fourth of 800 is me posting the links the other three fourths of it is people following those links uh -huh. and, and seeing um, oh uh, I'll donate one dollar, or I'll de donate ten dollars uh -huh. to this, you know, indie go go campaign, or I'll sell so watch uh, this YouTube video. Yes. And each each person that clicks on the link that says, "Hmm, a cardboard bicycle," hmm. that you know, I'd, it'll support my weight, and it'll be waterproof, and um, it'll weigh half the weight of the traditional metal bicycle um, you know these are all things that people need to look at to free their mind in order to um, accept that there probably is a, a little bit more of a sustainable world out there available and uh, th that's the point uh, th that um, I'm going to make um, here right now is that there's, um, well, we'll listen to McDonald's here for a second. Yeah, you can go on. Just one bring in. I, I discovered an automobile engine oh. that... Hey, McDonald's, Tom. Hey, McDonald's, do you guys have the orange milkshakes yet? No, we do not have an orange milkshake. Right now, our specialty is a caramel milkshake. Oh, caramel, huh? Is that a caramel swirl, or is it like a solid caramel? It's salad caramel, but we also, um, we put caramel drizzle on the outside of the, uh, the inside of the cup. Uh-huh. So then it's both, huh? It's not swirled, though. Oh, I mean, that kind of, I, I, it's got ribbons, though. That's not what I mean by swirl. I think it's a swirl in my mind still, you know. I'm sorry? Like, what I mean by swirled is, like, it's just in there. It's not all mixed up, That's so it is kind of swirled. What do you think? I mean, I don't mean like stirred in there, but if it's solid and swirled, there's like ribbons. 
That's where I mean ribbons, right? They come on the outside, yeah. Yeah. So you can see you can see the caramel ribbons and it's solid caramel too. Mm -hmm, but yeah, we don't have the orange. I'm sorry. Oh, can we get that? Can we get that caramel swirl in other flavors of milkshake, like in the chocolate? No. No, not even for extra. Well, I mean, if you wanted to pay extra for extra drizzle on a milkshake, you could probably do that on a chocolate. But on the caramel, it's the same price as the chocolate, but it comes with a drizzle? Yeah, the caramel is a specialty uh, shake that we have, and that's why it has the drizzle in the cup. Oh, okay. What about chocolate drizzle? Can we get a chocolate drizzle on a chocolate milkshake? If you pay extra for it, yes, you can. Oh, okay. I'm waiting for the orange ones. They usually come out in the summer. Do you think it's going to come out in the summer? No, we didn't bring them back this year, the Arctic orange. We did not. Oh, uh, they're not coming back at all? Not this summer. Maybe next summer though, or they, or they, or they, or they quit it forever. Oh no, I, I, they'll they'll be around. They'll come around again. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank Bye. You. So while you were talking to McDonald's, uh -huh. I actually thought you know maybe I should uh, bring up my um, note that I wrote on on uh, uh, Facebook. Okay, and we have Facebook notes. Yeah, I have Facebook notes. Um, Ask me nine eight five zero two if you want me to be um, check this out. Um, Ask me as in Albert. Um, S as in Sam. P as in Paul. I as in Igloo. Um, e as in Edward. Um, anyway, um, no this. Way vehicle that I, I told t was talking about it's 84 miles per the ga per gallon highway 49 miles per gallon city an eight gallon take tank the price is six thousand eight hundred dollars Wow American made American jobs also the top speed is in excess of a hundred miles per hour and the speed is from zero to 60 is in 9.6 seconds sounds like a pretty good deal yeah so why do we need to pay you know like an arm and a leg like uh 14 grand for, 30, 000, yeah. uh, for a brand new vehicle if we can you know just pay you know like um uh, what a brand of vehicle. car is that well this is a, a new uh vehicle called Elio Motors. Mm -hmm. E as in Edward. One minute is left. it a car? Well, anyway, yeah, it's a car. It's a two-seater. It mm. kind of looks like a jet plane, you know. I think someone is is one person is ahead of another. But it's only six thousand dollars, huh? It's only six thousand dollars, and you can go a uh, hundred miles per hour on the freeway. Wow! Hey, look, it's the end of the program. We made it through another show without losing consciousness or dying. Yes. Uh, thanks, Carl. Thanks for being here. You're welcome. Thanks, Mr. Gintsu and Freddie and Marquise and McDonald's and uh, that one guy that asked us a question and Charlie. We won. Me and Charlie won. And, uh, you know, tune in. We're on every day and, uh, you know, it's going to be a good time here for the future. I'm sure we'll see Carl back here. How's your towels? Is it still moist? It's still moist, uh, and uh, I'm still doing my part for the planet. I'll uh, give you details in the future. What's going on? Thank you, Your Daily Hour with me and TV, TCTV Channel 22. Thanks, computers. Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Yeah, we're on there. Check it out on the website. Thanks, phone. Call that number. And leave the message. Thanks, crew. You guys want to be on the crew? Do anything, Ken, if you want, though. Carl's on the crew. Yes. Thanks, USA. Washington State. Thurston County. Thebaby.com. Check it out. Oh, yeah. Just the ball. Yeah, Check that yeah. out, too. Bureau to E. Thank you. Mm hmm. TCTV. Thank you, Dan. Viewers, I see you're watching. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Webster. Hell yeah, dog. <laughs>
Oh. Bye bye. Look, there's Charlie all alone. Hi, Charlie. Yeah. Hey there.